Hey viewers, this is a video called How to Beat Gladiator Beasts. I did one of these a long time ago on Frog Monarchs, and it was called How to Beat Frog Monarchs. And it's been a severely long time since I did one of these videos. I think this is the second one of How to Beat a Deck. But this is How to Beat Gladiator Beasts. Before I go any further, look at this face. This is a face. It's a happy face. Because it's happy that it can be gladiator beasts. These seven cards show you how to be gladiator beasts. Yeah, it's cool. I think it's cool. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm gay or something. I don't know. But anyways, let us begin. So the first two cards kind of go hand in hand. Effect Valor and Book of Moon. And that Book of Moon is a Book of Moon. It's a really glared Book of Moon. Um, basically, with Effect Veiler, they summon their Gladiator Beast. Before they end their bat their main phase, you Veiler. So, if they choose to attack, they can't tag out. Um, yeah, it, kind of, it works kind of nice when, you know, they summon a Mermelo or a Hoplomist, and then you Veiler it, and then they're like, now have a weak monster from the field that can't tag out, and you kind of ass rape them. Valor ass rapes those two in particular. Book of Moon ass rapes all of them. Like first turn, they you set that Book of Moon, then they draw, they sign on the quarry. They go to attack you, Book of Moon, and then you have your next turn do whatever you want. You can even activate monster effects because they don't have a face of gladiator beast to use War Chariot. So buys you some time, same with Effect Valor, but Book of Moon, in my opinion, is a little bit better. Just a little bit. But they're both good. Okay, moving on to the nose is Nobleman of Extermination. Um, this card is particular, and I recommend it for side-decking only, because if you're lucky enough, it will hit War Chariots, and then they'll remove all three War Chariots, your opponent. But then you might hate something like, I don't know, a mirror force, and then if you have mirror force, then you get your removed mirror force, and then that's not very cool. Um, but it's good, and especially Chaos Plants, when your trap lineup consists of Limit Reverse and Call of the Haunted, Solemn Warning, and Return to Dimension, there's a very little chance that you'll actually remove one of your own cards, but it happens. Even if you slide in cards like these, Mirror Force and Solemn Morning, unless they're main deck. Main deck or side deck, these take care of Gladiator Beast. If you set this, first turn, they summon a beast, you saw them Morning it, they got nothing. They got nothing, you will shut them down for one turn. And you can swarm on their face for one turn. And if this is a bottomless too, it's even better in a sense. But Solemn Morning stops them from tagging out as well, which is good. Mirror Force can be play can be deprisoned, it can be Sakuratsu armor, anything like that that just, you know, remove destroys or removes from play the attacking gladiator beast because if they're moved from the field when they attack, well they can't tag out. So it's good. Um so this is generally mirror force to represent cards in the battle phase that stop gladiator beasts and this is just, you know, representing cards that stop the summon. So warning or bottomless or another solemn judgment on whatever. Finally, the last two cards. Skill Drain and Quarter of Agony. If you play a build with Skill Drain against Gladiator Beasts, um, it's bad shit on them because they can't tag out. All their Gladiator Beasts cannot do a thing except have a War Chariot be active. That's the only thing they can do. And even if Skill Drain's on the field, they can't really use War Chariot. So their only out to that is Mystical Space Typhoon, which in a 40 card deck you can only play 2, so 5% of the deck. And maybe if they're playing Dust Tornadoes, it would be 10% of the deck if you played 2 of them. So at the most they have a 10% chance of getting rid of either of these. Which is pretty good, because these both shut down. In Quarter of Agony, monsters that were... Monsters that were special summoned from the ex main deck cannot activate their effects, their effects are negated, and they cannot declare an attack as long as this card remains space on the field. So, 
they you glad you tag out glad your beasts this pretty much you know says fuck you to them it's a good card against glad your beasts so this video how to beat glad your beasts this is how I beat glad your beasts and most of this stuff works uh, I can't complain it when I use it it's helpful in the matchup certainly um yeah so I'll try to do more how to beat certain decks if there's a deck in particular you want to know how to beat, you know, leave a comment. And if there's other tech you think can beat Gladiator and Beast, leave a comment. If you like my smiley face, leave a comment. Or like it. And you should subscribe to me. Anyways, yeah, that's that's the video, so thank you. And goodbye, all.